Hi everyone, Superintendent Rogers here. Just a few uh, comments. We put together a video tutorial. We want to get you to uh, Patricia Walker, our Director of Teaching and Learning, to talk to you a little bit about uh, online instruction and curriculum, etc. So I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, this is unprecedented and uh, we're confident. We want to thank those people who've worked uh, all weekend to get information out. You've probably by now seen information regarding custodial services. You'll be meeting with your principals as a part uh, of our training this morning. And so I want to let you know and assure you that uh, it's fluid, it's changing. We're going to get out an official uh, announcement every day is the plan through our communications department. Uh, if you have any uh, specific questions, be sure to route those through your uh, immediate supervisor. Uh, check our website, that'll have the most updated information. Like I said, it's fluid, it's an unprecedented situation, but we're going to be fine, we're going to be okay. We've got the greatest uh, teachers and supervisors, principals and custodians, we've got the greatest staff uh, in Utah. So uh, I think we're going to be fine, let's be calm, let's stay strong. Uh, if you have questions about uh, being approved to work from home remotely, please route those through your supervisor. Uh, we just appreciate all the hard work done. We want you to take care of yourself and remember good uh, hygiene, good hand washing, social distancing whenever possible. And uh, we'll get through this and uh, we want to be flexible with each other and kind. We want to be positive with our students and uh, we want to stay Tooele strong. So thank you and I'll turn the time over to uh, Trisha Walker. Greetings. I know a lot of information and concerns are coming at you, and quickly. I wanted to take just a few minutes of your time in hopes to answer some questions and alleviate any anxiety you might have. As you know, we are enacting a school dismissal protocol under the direction of the governor, state superintendent of schools, and our local health departments. This means that students will receive some form of instruction during these next two weeks beginning March 18th. The situation will be reevaluated by the offices listed above on March 27th, but changes may occur at any time. As a district, we have decided that instruction will be delivered to students online, and in cases where a family does not have online access, as a last resort, instructional packets will be provided. It is amazing the innovation, compassion, willingness to help others, and strength that has heightened in our organization so that our students and community have some normalcy during this challenging time. We've got this. Lead. Lean on others. Collaborate. We may have some bumps and challenges along the way that we will need to learn from, but this is what I know. Our teachers know their content and know their kids. Our teachers have empathy and compassion, not just for our kids, but for one another. The determination of our people is boundless. Already we have teachers on their own planning and developing online materials. It's amazing, and thank you. The Teaching and Learning Department and Technology Department are working around the clock to create supports and resources in the vein of lightening the load on educators. And lastly, our entire school district, along with partners from Tooele Technical and Utah State University Tooele, are focusing on keeping our kids engaged in instruction. This slide shows a bird's eye view of how we see our instructional cycle functioning during the school dismissal. What is great is that the content knowledge and practices in the feedback cycle are nothing new to us. Is new is the methodology of an online learning platform to support remote learning. And rest assured, we have a way to get everyone up to speed that may not be using an online learning management system, otherwise known as LMS. Let's begin with building on our strengths, content. Grades K through 6 will focus solely on English language arts and math using our core materials along with some district approved supplemental software. Grades 7 through 12 will focus on their individual content areas using core materials along with some district approved supplemental software and this includes CTE as well. Let me be clear, this is not the time to introduce new content and or new programs. 
The online learning platform, or LMS, that our district has decided upon due to ease of use for new users, both teacher and student, is Google Classroom. If a teacher and students are currently using Canvas, they can opt to continue to use that LMS. In just a few hours, the technology department will be providing two webinars this morning and some live instruction in the afternoon. The webinars will be recorded so that they can be referred to as needed. Shout out to the tech department. They've been working diligently all weekend on creating this training and resources. In the case of a family without online access, and only in this case, schools will be provided instructional packets. The Teaching and Learning Department has been working long hours pulling together resources to reinforce content from the last six months to put online to help schools in providing these packets. In some cases, teachers may prefer to create their own two-week instructional packets to mirror their online instruction. But in the meantime, our department wanted to be sure we had materials and resources on the ready for our students in need of this service. We also wanted to provide a sample framework for what a student schedule would look like so that teachers can plan accordingly. You will see estimates of times for both elementary and secondary students. Please note that online delivery is not intended to be live except in some concurrent enrollment classes due to the fact that many families with several students cannot be online all at the same time should there only be one family computer. Here you will notice a sample framework for a teacher schedule. During this school dismissal period, a student school day is considered 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Due to the nature of students working independently and logging in at various times, teachers are expected to be responsive to student inquiry and implement feedback protocols during this time. These are samples and the order of the periods will need to be flexible. We have developed two websites over the weekend, one related to content and one to technology. Please know that they will continue to develop daily with the goal of close to completion by tomorrow evening. Should our dismissal change and be extended in the future, more resources will be added, especially with instructional packets. We are here to support you. Please do not hesitate to contact any of these amazing professionals. We are here to help. I have provided email addresses, although you can contact them also by phone using the district directory. Keep in mind that if our district moves to working remotely in the future, that email may be the best form of contact. I know that you have a lot on your mind, and if you are like me, you just want to jump in and start creating to see how it all comes together, so I will not keep you any longer. Please know that I appreciate all your efforts and truly hope that I have helped to alleviate any anxiety. Take a deep breath. We will do amazing things, and we will make mistakes, but we have one another to lean on. Have a great day, and don't forget Google Classroom webinars at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m., your choice. Truly grateful for you all.